we need to find the unique triplet of two-digit positive integers a, b, and c satisfying this equation. The mix of cubic terms makes this look formidable, but its structure is the key to its solution. Let's begin by rearranging the equation to uncover a famous algebraic identity. First, we move the 9a, b, c term to the left side. Now, let's examine the structure of this expression. This form is highly suggestive of a specific factorization involving cube roots. Consider the following substitution. Let x equal a, y equal b times the cube root of 3, and z equal c times the cube root of 9. If we cube these terms, x cubed is a cubed, y cubed is 3b cubed, and z cubed is 9c cubed. And the product 3x, y, z simplifies to 9a, b, c. This reveals that the left side of our equation is precisely the expression x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed minus 3x, y, z. This structure is known in abstract algebra as a norm. For the number field generated by the cube root of d, the norm of an element is a function that maps it to a rational number, revealing its algebraic size. In our case, with d equal to 3, our equation simply states that the norm of this number is equal to 1. Numbers with a norm of 1 are called units. Our problem is now reduced to finding the right unit. A major result, Dirichlet's unit theorem, tells us that all integer solutions are generated by powers of a single fundamental unit. This means we don't have to search randomly. We just need to find one base solution and check its powers. A known unit in this field with small positive integer coefficients is eta, given by a equals 4, b equals 3, and c equals 2. Let's verify its norm is indeed 1. Plugging these values into our norm expression, we get 64 plus 81 plus 72 minus 216, which equals 1. It is a unit. However, the coefficients are not two-digit numbers. The next logical step is to find the next unit by squaring eta, since the square of a unit is also a unit. We need to carefully expand this expression, remembering that the cube root of 27 is 3, and the cube root of 81 is 3 times the cube root of 3. After expanding and grouping the constant terms, the cube root of 3 terms, and the cube root of 9 terms, we get this simplified expression. Performing the additions, we find eta squared. This gives us the solution a equals 52, b equals 36, and c equals 25. All are two-digit positive integers. To confirm this is the unique solution, we observe that because all coefficients of eta are positive, the coefficients of eta cubed and higher powers will be strictly larger, quickly exceeding 99. Therefore, our solution is unique. All that remains is to compute the required sum. We sum our values for a, b, and c, 52 plus 36 plus 25. The sum is 113. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this exploration of algebraic norms and number fields, please like and subscribe for more mathematical insights.